Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Xenoblade, uh, as the legend, you know what, no, I'm just gonna embrace it. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, what is that over there? Are those, those are trees? Man, look at the scale of this world, it's beautiful. When we last left off, I fought two Igneo Taluses. And happened across this beautiful, absolutely breathtaking view. Look at this. It's like we're on top of the world. There's a sunset over there. There's lava. Like, the contrast between this and those the misty landscapes, which I don't even know what's down there. Is there anything down there? And... The green hills over there, it's just, it's beautiful. And it's very Xenoblade-esque. And so this episode, we're going to start it off with a shrine. And that shrine is right over here. I'm just going to fly right down this way. Wonder what those things are. What are those black things? Are they rest points? I think they're rest points. Yeah, they're rest points. We're going to start things off by tackling this shrine at Gut Check Rock. Which, we are getting some rather hospitable music here. What What on earth? Oh, hey. There, there is a person here. Hey. Pump it up, brother. By the gods, I love me some muscle. This right here is hardcore training ground, string bean. This is where we come to get ripped and shredded. It's where Goron boys become Goron men, brother. Uh, I'm, you're kind of in the way. I ain't moving a muscle, brother. Not a single well-defined muscle. Also, his- wow, his- his arms are huge compared to, like, his bicep, which is tiny. This is a special platform. Sacred, even. Only real Goron man, as decided by us three Goron blood brothers, are allowed. Besides, my little's bro's in the middle of training right now. A brother does not interrupt a brother's training, brother. But I gotta say, you do seem like a real man of action. Almost like you have gore on air about you. So, what are you waiting for, brother? Get training. Yeah, that's it. If you can clear our hardcore training program, I'll move out of your way. Count me in. Ha, good answer, brother. We're gonna rip you to pieces, little man. Prepare your tiny self. Okay, let me explain how this hardcore training works. The rules are dead simple. Simple as a deadlift, brother. Starting from the bottom, you gotta climb this back up here within the time limit. But, don't fool yourself into thinking it's only a climbing challenge, little man. You gotta pick up rupees as you go. Get up the cliff- get up the cliff within the time limit, and grab a passable number of rupees. Do that and you'll pass the test. If you run out of time or decide to give up halfway through your climb, you'll have to return all the rupees you picked up. That's life, brother. We're gonna help you push past your limits, brother. Your physical, mental, and emotional limits. Okay, enough messing around. It's time for the hardest of hardcore feats. Gut wrench or gut check challenge. Okay. Oh, almost forgot a tiny detail, tiny man. No train, no gain. And no pay, no stay. So yeah, it's 20 rupees per tam. You want a summer? Wait, what? What is summer? You want some? Oh, you want some of this, brother? Yeah! I'm ready. You gotta collect 100 rupees as you climb. A hardcore Goron man should be able to handle that no problem. Even if you reach the goal before time runs out, if you don't grab enough rupees, you you fall. Don't, or you fail. You don't, don't fail, brother. Got it? Good. Then finally it's time for a death battle. I mean, gut check challenge. That, yeah. Also, there is no heat here, so I am going to equip... My gear, climbing boots, climbing gear, climber's bandana. Let's go for this death battle. Three minutes to collect 100 rupees. That's, that seems simple enough. I need to remember, I do have, drop down. I do have stamina re restoring stuff. Let's jump over there. Get up this way. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, that's bad. That is not good. That is the opposite of good. I should have used my restoring my stamina stuff. Five rupees out, which is not good. Also, uh, just make sure. Do I have any any climbing stuff? 
Do I? I have none. Okay, well, if I fail this, I'll, I'll probably cook up one of those real quick, especially because there is something at the very... There is a, a pot at the very top. Okay, climb up. There's a blue rupee on this one. Bunch of rupees over there. Let's grab the rupee. Don't fall. Oh, man, so many rupees. And do, it looks like we might get keep them if we if we pass. That'll be cool. But I need to collect 100 in order to do that. And we only have a minute remain, or we have two minutes remaining. Man, but they did not, they did not anticipate my climbing prowess. I am the most proficient of them all at climbing. Because I did all the side quests. Jump over here. Grab that. We're a quarter of the way there. Actually, we're more than that because there's a red rupee right, right here. Climb over to the right. And let's grab that carefully. Oh, we're halfway there. I think I might be able to do it. Here, let's let's do some jumping. Bypass that green rupee that I just saw. Uh, use my energizing elixir. Get up to full stamina. There are two red rupees up there. That's 40. Oh, we did it. I think we did it. If we can do it. Actually, no, that's even more. Oh, man. We did this thing easy. Man, this is cake. We have a minute left, but we're basically done. There's a red rupee here, and then there are two more, and a blue rupee, and with 40 seconds to collect them both. That's cake. And we're right up near the top, I think, unless we're not. Uh, now I'm kind of worried. Yeah, that's the top right there. So that's, this is pie. 120 rupees, and we're going to have 162 rupees by the end of this thing. And plenty of time to spare. Man, what was I worried about? I mean, running out of stamina? No. No, what are you talking about? I have stamina potions. I don't even think I need to use them. Yeah, see? I don't even need to use them. Goal! That was glorious. Nice going, brother. Now let's see how many of those rupees he scored. Looks like he got 162. Unbelievable. You passed our train with the grit of a true Goron, my brother. In fact, you've earned yourself the right to call yourself <coughs> the fourth Goron blood brother. I can't I can't actually continue that voice anymore. It's killing me, so you'll have to excuse me not using her the Hercule voice anymore. As promised, you are now allowed to stand on the sacred platform of Goron manliness. A real honor, I know. You're officially one of us now, a true Goron brother. Brother, welcome to the family. And good news, fourth brother, that means you can do the gut check challenge all you want. As a Goron blood brother, you're you're ready for the hard stuff. Just let me know when you're pumped enough to do it. Also, I love he <laughs> he's shaking. Man, that, that was cool. In fact, I might even do that this episode, but first I need to tackle the shrine. But I'm I'm totally for doing that again. That was fun. Gore Taurus Blessing. Wait, what? It's a... Oh, it's just a blessing. What? But we didn't do anything really special to get here. They're just gonna give us a giant frost blade. I mean, I'll take it. I already have a frost spear and a bunch of elemental weapons, which I need to use up. But, cool. And we get our blessing, which I think is the fourth one, so we also get a heart container with that. So, I would love to explore the rest of this area, but first, I think I should do something that's been long overdue. I haven't been able to upgrade this gear once. The the climbing gear, I've never been able to upgrade. Also, oh, hello. Mark that. Probably head there that epi this episode, too. Actually, is that even... That's actually in a diff entirely different region. Huh, and actually... I think that's... Here. Yeah, that's... I guess we're going to raw to complete the the Robbie's research quest this episode too. But first, I would like to do something that's long overdue. And that is I'm going to be teleporting back to this shrine and grabbing some rush rooms because I would like to do these the uh the climbing challenge again because apparently there he said there's a harder version of it. And if I do that, then I should probably be upgrading my climbing gear, which I can do over here because there are rush rooms here. And then also I could may maybe make a climbing potion. 
So I'm going to do all of those off screen real quick. So give me just one moment. And I'm back. Sadly, and rather frustratingly, I just spent 40 minutes getting rush rooms. You know how many I got? Four. Those things are near impossible to find. You'd think that you could just find them on cliffs, but no, 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 no. I scoured the edge of the Great Plateau for 40 minutes, as well as the cliffs around Zora's Domain, and I found four. And the only four I found were right next to this shrine, right at the beginning of my search. They are so difficult to track down. And so unfortunately, I was only able to upgrade one part of my gear. So I guess that's going to have to wait for a later date when I can find a store that carries them. Or for you guys to post it in the comments and tell me where I can find a bunch. Because I need seven more in order to upgrade my gear. I believe around seven more. Pump it up, blood brother. You cleared our training program like it was nothing. But I know your type. Your type is my type. Are you satisfied with just one victory? Can you, brother? To be a true Goron man, you gotta be unflinchingly dedicated to training. No flinching whatsoever. Lucky for you, I've prepared a training program to help you ascend to an even greater height. I call it Super Gut Check Challenge. So, ready to make your take your training to the next level of hardcore, my brother? Yes. Neat. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm actually gonna do the, the hardest one. 100 rupees? Sign me up. Okay, I need 300 rupees to complete this. Oh boy, let's do it. Two, one, go! So, starting off, I think it, it looks fairly linear. Oh, actually, no. It looks like they changed the pathing a little bit. So that... That changes some stuff. Uh, also, I should probably make sure that I don't have a hasty elixir that I'm not using. That does stealth boost, heat resistance, stealth, stealth, heat, movement speed boost. Uh, does that apply to climbing? Uh, yeah, that. I think this does apply to climbing. So let's use that. Does it apply? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Hopefully. So we need 300 rupees. I'm thinking I'm going to take that path. Let's see, no. I'm going to go to the left and then circle around to the right. I think that'll work, ultimately. I need to remember that I do have stamina restoring gear, or, or uh, potions and food. Oh, that was close. Okay, grab this. No! What? That was so dumb. Oh, man. That's bad. For some reason, it didn't register that I had stopped climbing. Or that I had stopped crouching. That is not good. Uh, going to restore with that. Rest back here. I wasted so much time with that. That was so dumb. Okay, taking the left path and then circling back to the right, I think. In fact, oh, there's silver rupee up there. Oh, that'll help a lot. Here, let's... I'm not sure if the green rupee is worth it. Probably not. But I'll take it anyway. I'll take what I can get. There's another silver rupee up there. Oh, come on, Link. You can do it. Here, let's jump and then... Restore my stamina? Yeah. Full stamina once again. Get this. I'm going to ignore those green rupees because they're green and pretty much worthless. Jump over this way. Grab this. This will put us two thirds of the way there. Which means I only need to grab that silver rupee and then I'm fine. So I'll just climb up this way. Get a presumably maybe a purple rupee. So 50. I also need to be careful because I don't have any more stamina restoring consumable items. But I think this is in the bag. Oh, that's a green rupee? Really? I climbed all this way for a green rupee. Okay. 
drop. Might as well grab it. And then fly over this one. Whew. Grab that. And that's my goal. I, I should be able to complete it if I grab that. I'll grab that and plus one more rupee. One more non-green rupee. And I think I should be fine. Hurry it up, Link. If need be, I might have to take an updraft to win this. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna climb up to the top and skirt the edge and try to- Oh wait, no, no, I have, I have 300. Oh, well I did it. Jump up. No, no, no. I'm gonna die. Oh, I, I have, I have Mifu's blessing. Oh, that was so dumb. Oh man, I was at the top too. Man. I think I did it. I think I did it. After how many tries? Future pal, please enlighten the audience on how many tries it took me to do this. It's surprisingly very difficult. I mean, I knew it was the hardest difficulty of this mini game, but man, when they said that it was the the hardest, they were not fooling. But I'm pretty sure I did it. I have 30 seconds left to get to the top, and unless something catastrophic happens, or I do something cr extremely stupid, which I doubt that I will do, I have this in the bag. In fact, I have this so much in the bag that I have 87 rupees more than I actually need. So, I made a, a pretty sizable profit off of this. Plus, whatever the reward is for completing this. Goal! That was glorious. Nice going, brother. Now let's see how many rupees you scored. Looks like you got 387. Unbelievable. You annihilated our training like it was a mere warm-up, brother. I knew I was right about you. You got the body of a bitty baby, but the heart of a Goron warrior. For passing our f super famous challenge, I'm going to reward you with a Endura Shroom. It's yours, brother. The, the, wait, wait, what? Oh, temporarily increase your stamina limit. Okay. Take this training as many times as you want. In fact, I'll be waiting to challenge you again. Okay, I thought that that was a, like a permanent increase, but no. I mean, I guess... For how many rupees we now have, I guess I couldn't expect too, too big of a reward. Okay, so with the remaining time in, left in the episode, which is a lot, considering that the episode just started, Future Pal did a great job of editing this, even though I've already been recording for an hour and 20 minutes, uh, let's explore this very beautiful area by flying right into the heart of this. Killing this guy. Uh, here, let's... Switch over to ice arrows. And finish him off. A uh, Boko Club. Actually, equal the item that I have right now. And the chest for this is a beautiful ruby. Neat. Okay. Here, let's... Let's also break this open. Is there anything inside? Some arrows. Not bad. Not bad at all. And some enemies that I don't really need to kill. I mean, I will scout out what they have. But it's nothing that good. It's nothing that... I, really? Really? It's nothing that I want terribly badly. Yeah, I, I think I'm fine with just walking away. What is happening to these guys? They're, they're turning on each other. What is... Why? Why are you killing each other like this? Okay, so, over this way, looks like there are some stones which I can break, which I always want to do that. There's never a reason not to, considering how rich it has made me. And I guess we'll just walk by here and and see what this giant gorge or valley is for. I mean, I find it hard to believe that this is, you know, all, this is all there is to it. Uh, wrong thing. Let's kill that guy. Does he have any bomb arrows that I can take? No, it doesn't look like it. He has a knight's bow, which is cool. I'll take that. But it doesn't look like these guys have any good... You know what? Actually, I should probably... I should probably check to make sure that there is nothing insanely good inside of these. I mean, there's a mushroom. That's not bad. And I guess there's, you know, 
There's some stuff I should eat before I die. There we go. Uh, do I still have a, a fairy? I don't think I have a fairy, so I should probably be a bit more careful with what I'm doing. Yeah, because otherwise that can happen, and no one likes it when that happens. So uh, I guess I'll just eat this... This... I'll eat this. I don't need the heat resistance, but... I, I can still eat it for... For a quick restoration. Need to make sure that I don't die... Oh, to that. Who is shooting that, by the way? I should probably deal with them. Oh, uh, let's eat another one of these. Oh, come on. I just want to take your loot and go. There. Now, I, I shouldn't have to worry about these guys anymore. I mean, there are a ton of them, but... As long as I stay here in the clear, you know, and not blow my myself up, there's nothing actually in that one. Then I should be fine. And actually, I can just heal by doing this, right? I think. I'm pretty sure, that, yeah, this restores my, my health, so... I guess the, those items I just consumed were kind of a waste. Well, neat. Make sure there's nothing in the water. Nope, nothing's in the water. Okay, so what's... Gotta check rock. We've been here before. We, we've been climbing this so, so much this episode. But what else is around here? And actually, this would be a good way to check. If I can just fly up on this geyser, then I can save myself a lot of work scoping the, the place out. Uh, I can't burst that open, but I can break that. And get nothing as my reward. So what is... It doesn't look like there's anything around here. There's a shrine over there which I'll grab. But otherwise, it looks like I can just skip this... Skip the majority of this area. I mean, I might miss a Korok here or there, but I'm really not that keen, that interested in getting Koroks at the moment. So I guess we'll just fly by. Uh, what is that? Is that a stable? Here, let's equip the Phrenic Bow. Uh, this? I can't tell. Is that a stable or not? There's really... I think it's just a weird fort. Oh, I should probably land first. What is that? Oh, it's just a fort. Okay. Nothing nothing too cool. In fact, most of this area just seems to exist for the view and nothing else. Also, I am well aware that we are heading into another area right now. I just want to get this because it's in my sights. And also, the the Robbie guy is somewhere near here. Uh, he, He's pretty far. Actually, I guess he's just right over there. So if I can see him from here, I'll... I will go say hi to him. But otherwise, we're towards the end of where I wanted... What I wanted to explore. And then we're just going to go back to Goron City and see what they have to offer. Man, I'm not sure. Will I be able to climb this? Actually, yes, because there's a rest... A rest area right here. Man, is this just a giant bone or something? It's kind of weird. Oh, boy. Okay, just stop. Restore my stamina. I have to deal with the blood moon, which is cu quickly coming. You can barely hear it in the background. This does really look like just a giant bone. A giant vertebrae. That's odd. And there's... Is that our dragon? Is that the dragon we befriended, or is that a new one? I think that might be a new one, because it's a completely different color. How do we even get up there? That's odd. You guys, actually, you told me in the comments that there are a couple of more, a couple more fountains where we can, where Zelda purified herself. Uh, is that him? Let's see, is that here? Let's mark that. Oh, that that's where I just was. Oh, okay. But you guys told me that there are more fountains, so I need to keep on the lookout for those. Because they're special. Okay, let's clear out the shrine real quick. Zuna Kai's bless- another blessing! Why- are, are we just getting to the end of side quests accidentally? A another flame blade. Another flame blade. Wait, don't I- Don't I have one of those right now? Yeah, I have one. In my inventory. Okay... 
Well, I mean, I can throw this away and grab it, but I mean, it's kind of odd. Huh. So many blessings recently without quests having open, opened them up. It's odd. So it looks like Robbie is just on that knoll over there, which isn't too far away. I... I'm waffling at this point. Do I want to go tackle that? Because I am way off the beaten path at the moment. I'm in an entirely new area, and I probably shouldn't be doing this. I'm also not sure where we are in on time for this episode. I uh, probably use, shouldn't use the flame blade. But I have no clue where we are on time. But I guess Future Pal can just cut to me getting over there. There's a Korok, I s presume? Yeah, there's a Korok. So I guess, Future Pal, if you could cut to me getting there, that'd be cool. I, I really don't think I should be this far, but I I've already come this far. It'd be a shame to stop now. After a an uneventful approach to this place, I saw a Lionel, but that was it. And... He was chill with me, so we didn't have to even lock eyes. I'm pretty close to the top here. I, I really shouldn't be doing this, but like I said, I've come this far. I might as well. There's a keys causing some trouble over there. A bunch of moblins, which I really don't care about. We can't really hurt each other. And something for me to climb. Let's fly over this way. Getting to see some new sights, entirely new sights. Ooh, oh, hello. You see that over there? I've actually heard about that. And some really good rewards, wow. That cube over there is a maze that I've heard about from a lot of people that I, I know who play Breath of the Wild, so that's something we'll need to tackle at some point. And it looks, it looks pretty fun. Has a looks like it has a flying guardian in there, but we're gonna have to be dealing with that at some point. We're gonna be playing. Uh, we're gonna be taking part in Maze Runner, the movie, which was a really odd film. Okay, let's break him and not bother with him at all. Actually, I don't really care. I mean, I'll take his arm or discover it at least. But I'm just gonna climb up and hope he doesn't try and kill me. Also, if this is an, a long episode, I apologize. Future Pal can't work all the magic all the time, sadly. Sometimes I make things so difficult for him by by continuing to play that he just gives up and makes it a long episode. So I apologize for both to both myself and you guys for that, but I'm pretty sure that I couldn't help it. Okay, so what is this? Alcala Ancient Tech Lab? has one of those things, so we're gonna have to light the fire at some point. Are you... who are you? Are you Robbie? I... it's an... it's... What? Well, where did they come from? Hey you, what are you doing here? Hmm... hmm... And there's Robbie. Well, what do you know? Are you the one called Link? Yeah. Hmm, hmm. That's too bad. If you were the legendary Link, there would be something important I needed to tell you. But how can I determine with full certainty whether or not you are the true hero? Yes, how indeed. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Yes, if you can show me w the wounds that your body suffered 100 years ago, that should prove you're truly Link. Uh, hmm. That's too bad. How do I... Okay, well, we made it here, and that's really all I cared about. I, I don't... Oh, man. Did, should I... Man, what should I do here? I'm pretty sure this is story stuff that we shouldn't be addressing yet. Hmm, you're pretty suspicious. If you are an acquaintance of Robbie's, you'll have to prove it to him. Yeah, I'm not sure how I would go about proving that. So, I guess this is just something I wanted to scratch off the bucket list. And not something I necessarily wanted to cover right now, because it's... It's in a completely different area... Uh, and in a completely different land. I just wanted to discover it and then be on my way. So now, now that we've done that, and... 
Oh, for a second I thought that was floating, and it freaked me out, man. What? Man, I was... I was super scared that this thing was just randomly floating. This is odd. But yeah, so I'm not going to be doing this now. But at some point, we will we will face this later. I'm also kind of stuck. There. So yeah, cool. Uh, starting next episode, I think we're going to be going inside the... Uh... Why are there so many guardians? This is odd. But I think uh, next episode, now that I've scratched what I wanted to scratch off of my bucket list, I feel like we've, we've explored Death Mountain pretty extensively and the Elden region in general. So I think now that we've done that, completed a lot of the side quests in that area, discovered some, si some shrines, and defeated two bosses that I didn't expect to defeat, I think that I can safely enter the Guardian next episode or not the guardian but the the divine beast so starting next episode we're going to be doing that all right thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity please click like if you didn't then drop a comment telling me how i could make the next episode so that you would like it i release new episodes of the legend of zelda breath of the wild every oh good i need to discover that i release new episodes of the legend of zelda breath of the wild every oh get up there link monday and wednesday and if you want to see me cover something at all in this adventure, go ahead and comment. This series ex is extremely fluid to what you guys want to see. And if you suggest something, chances are I'm going to show it off. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching and join me next time. Doodlebug, doodlebug. He is the thing that d d doodles. And when he doodles, things choke and die. Case in point. And now the way is clear. Oh no! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh no! Please flip back! Oh boy, I fell through a hole. Oh, okay. <laughs>